everybody, Maction here, and I wanted to try a little something different. So I figured that at the end of every week, I would go over some of the news that I've discovered about upcoming tablets or changing technology in the tablet field that interested me. So we'll go ahead and start off with a news item that somebody tweeted to me um, earlier in the week, and that was this tablet that was being crowdfunded called Earl. Now, Earl was really sort of geared towards backpackers and, uh, you know, people who like to get out into the wilderness a lot because it happens to have an integrated solar panel on the back, flexible e-ink display, uh, preloaded with tons of maps, tons of GPS options, uh, sensors like, of course, your usual accelerometer, but it also had barometers and things like that. So it seemed to really be geared towards people who wanted to get out and away from everything. Um, this, of course, is being crowdfunded, so it's not completed yet, and only time will tell just how it turns out. But that's what it looks like at the present. Now, Notion Inc., who uh, made a tablet early on in the tablet game called the Atom, um, which I actually uh, happen to have one, but, um, but Notion Inc., who had been quiet for a long time, recently announced that they're going to be making an Atom 2. Um, now, there aren't that many details about it yet, but word on the street is that it's going to be a dual-screen device, so we'll see how that turns out. This next one is quite exciting because Adobe is actually making some hardware devices for your tablets. They happen to be Project Mighty and Napoleon. Now this is sort of a pen and ruler combo meant to be used for tablets. The ruler you can make sort of different geometric shapes and it'll actually display it onto the tablet screen so that you can make it with the uh, with the pen. Now, one thing that's cool about the pen is that it will have pressure sensitivity and a few of the other things that a lot of people want. It also seems to be able to take a sketch that you'll make on one device and sort of store it inside of the, the pen's hardware and memory and then drop it onto another device that the Project Mighty is connected to. Um, no word yet on when this will be available, but you can sign up for updates when Adobe chooses to release them. Now, Nook this week, big, big news for Nook. They wound up getting Google Play for their Nook HD and HD Plus line, which is a huge deal. And also, for Mother's Day, they decided to cut the price, so that'll be ending pretty darn soon. But not surprisingly, soon after they announced their price cut, uh, Amazon announced a price cut for their Kindle Fire devices. So, get some uh, cheap tablets right now. And then the last noteworthy thing that I came across this week happened to be that Microsoft was supposedly contemplating purchasing Nook from Barnes & Noble. So we'll see how that goes. As with a lot of this news, only time will tell, but just to tell you about some of the interesting things that are going on in the tablet sphere right now. See you next week.